You know, I read recently that if you have a small God, you've got big problems. And isn't that the truth? Let's talk about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. You know, the problem is a lot of times we go into circumstances and face obstacles in that already defeated. We go into it and look at it and say, there's no way I can do this. There's no way I can beat this. There's no way I can attain this. There's no way I could you know, achieve this. And, and we're defeated before we even go in. What are we doing? We are, fa we are um, focusing on the obstacles and not the objective. And we have to look at the objective, not the obstacles itself. Now, what do we find in the Bible? There's so many stories about these um, men of God that, what did they do? They were in a position where they were gonna be defeated, but they looked at the objective. And the one that comes to mind, of course, to everyone would be David and Goliath. I mean, how simple is that one? Just a little shepherd boy that's out there taking care of, of the sheep, and he's going to fight the master Philistine that everybody was afraid of, the giant. So over in 1 Samuel 17, it tells a story. I'm going to read a little bit about it uh, to you. I know you've heard it several times, but it's interesting because when he went out to face Goliath, it was just him and his slingshot. He didn't take any armor in that with him, no spears, no swords. And Goliath said, am I a dog that you come at me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. Come here, he said, and I'll give your flesh to the birds and the wild animals. Hmm. Interesting. So what would David do? What would people do? You see this nine foot guy standing there saying this to you. Well, David replied to, the, to Goliath, you come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hands, and I'll strike you down and cut off your head. This very day I will give the carcasses of the Philistine army to the birds and the wild animals. Some wild words, huh? And the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. All those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves. For the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you all, give all of you into our hands. Wow. I mean, that's kind of brave from this little guy looking at this big giant. But he knew his objective, and he knew that God was by his side, was going to take care of him, was directing him and leading him to this battle. So what happened? As Goliath moved closer, David, he didn't back up. He ran towards him. He ran towards the battle to meet it. He reached into his bag and took out a stone, slung that baby, and hit Goliath right in the middle of the forehead and killed him instantly. That was reaching his objective. That was trusting in God to help him to get through that circumstance. And God can do that for you today, too, when you put your faith in him, that he's going to lead you by the objective you have to achieve and not by the circumstance that you're in. God bless you, everyone. I look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.